Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's feature Master Nightfall, which is Exodus Crash. I'm doing it on Arc Warlock, Arc 3.0 Warlock. Uh, all fragments, aspects and abilities are here at the start of the video, so you can check them out. I'm using an anti-barrier sniper. Uh, I am on my primary slot. I'm using Trinity Go in my energy slot for add clear, and I'm using the Swarm. I'm using the Adept version. You can go with really any Arc machine gun, and I've got Overload uh, uh, overload machine gun on for that. I'm using bad amplitude and surge detonators on my class class item, and the exotic that I am using is the Warlock uh, exotic helmet, uh, Crown of Tempest, which, as you can see, arc or jolted uh, enemies increase ability regeneration. Surge jet detonators basically arc grenades stun overloads and bad amplitude is if I, if I hit a champion with an arc ability they become jolted so in this first area your real the main thing you've got to do is you've got to get these pulses these uh, you see at the top left they attract fallen through arc pulses you have to collect I think it's five pulses five or six pulses and then you can move on to the next area there's two sets of them in this first area but the real kind of, that's just, kind of, for me, that's always been the side thing. The real thing is, watch out for snipers. And these, uh, I can't remember what they're called. Names just sometimes disappear. It's like, uh, who are you? Oh, hi, mum. You know, <laughs> sometimes names just disappear. Uh, Pikes, there we go. You can come back to me. The, the, so at the start, you'd have seen me snipe. Because you can actually see three of the pikes when they when you start this. If you can snipe them off the 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 dreg, it's just dreg driving them. If you can snipe the dreg off off the pikes, then you don't have to put up with the first couple. Uh, and then I think there's just like one at the end. So where I'm taking out the snipers, they will always be they're 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 in set positions. So I take this route. Watch out for these spider mines because they do arc damage. So if you hit a couple of them at one go. Yeah, it's going to hurt. So once I get the pulses, you see here there's a sniper there and then there's a vandal here. Now normally the vandals will be standing with the back to you. Ultra disrespectful since we're, we're the ones that are going to be taking their heads off. But sometimes you might just have to snipe them twice rather than just get the one headshot. And then you're going to have a couple of groups of these guys, these resilient dreg and three shank. You'll have three groups of them. You'll have one here. Uh, one over on the right where the three pulses are over by just up there on the right hand side and then you'll have three on the kind of incline up to where the where the rest of the ads are going to spawn so you'll see here there's the, there's the three I was talking about sometimes this resilient guy will go and hide and there's your three on the incline it's a little hill that leads up to the rest of the ads so what I'm going to be doing here is, and now I've took those out collect these the last of these pulses uh, I just want to clear that guy before I go up and then as soon as I clear these pulses the next set of ads including an overload are going to come out from from a position up top I'm going to kind of cut across there and I'm going to throw my grenade right at the doorway where all the ads come out now Trinity Go is going to you see there between the grenade and Trinity Go it just completely took all of them out the reason I like to do that is because there are a couple of invisible those those little invisible guys, the little kind of hooded guys. They they try and run past you and, and, and attack you from behind. Now you'll see I used my grenade, and I have my grenade back. That is because if my grenade finishes the guy, if it finishes the overload, or I jolt him and I I I I. Uh, if I can jolt them and, and get the, the Ionic Trace to come to me, that'll give me more energy. That'll give me uh, ability energy, which will also give me grenade energy. And you can see, I didn't pick up any of the ele uh, ar elemental ordnance. I never got any of them, as you see there. The other thing, uh, because it cut them from one subject to the other. So I never finished them with the grenade. So I never got any elemental ordnance you know, whales to give me grenade energy back. And the other thing I was going to say, I didn't even let myself finish the first one. Uh, you can jolt them with your melee as well, and that will, you know, that will give you Ionic Trace as well. So as you can see there, uh, that's what I was talking about, the elemental whales. So once I walk over them, it gives me a ton of, a ton of ability, a ton of my grenade abilities back. I've still got two over there, I only picked two up. So now I've got my grenade back. 
So I, if you look, I think I've got three, two or three elemental ordnance wells on. So I've actually got two elemental ordnance wells on, uh, mods on. But I've got bountiful wells on the helmet, so I get double. So two elemental ordnance equates to four of them. So that helps me get my grenade back pretty quickly. It gives, probably gives me about 70 to 80 <clears> percent. <throat> and then the the ionic trace for arc energy helps. So you can see on the left there we've got progress. Let's speak about this. Up until about 50% progress on the plate, you get two, at least two uh, overload captains. You get a whole bunch of explorers. You can see there, cap these captains. We all know about the overloads. They're an absolute nightmare. Uh, really difficult to keep nailed down in a position. But what I tend to do now, beforehand, and if you're a slightly lower level or slight, maybe feel just a little bit less confident in this section, Every time a bunch of ads come out, you can just step off the plate, deal with those ads first, and then get back on the plate. I, however, got to this thing where about late 20%, uh, I'll get two overloads. By that point, two overloads will come out. I just take them, as you've seen, I move to the left-hand side of the plate, which entices both of them to come to the left. So one grenade can stop both overloads. And then when you get back on the plate, you'll get a couple of ads... Nothing, maybe about three or four ads, up until about 50%, and now we get these two barriers. Once you take down one of the barriers, you'll see here, I'm going to take this barrier down. I'm just going to use my sniper. It does good damage. Make sure you're critting. What's going to happen now is I'm going to get three overloads. Talk about excessive. I'm going to get three. Now, what you have to watch out for, you see, I'm going to throw this grenade, hopefully take out all of those uh, enemies. Now, I've put a well down, a rift, and as as we all know, when you put down your rift, now, with the, the, the fragments, you get uh, your little arc buddy, your little arc soul. You can see there, I've got my, my well, my rift back. My well back. Rift. Rift well. They're all both the same thing to me. <laughs> Obviously, I keep calling one the other. Uh, so, when I put down my rift, I get the little arc soul, and it's, if I'm amplified, so will it be, it'll be supercharged. And you can see there with the damage, the extra damage it's doing against that, that overload. Now, advanced tactic here, it's not really advanced, I'm trying to make it sound better than what it is. If the arc soul is hitting, if you put an arc soul down and it's hitting the overload, and it, ampl it, it jolts the overload, you can see because it kind of attaches that little arc thing. When you kill the Overload, you'll get an Ionic Trace, which will help you get all your abilities back. It's the same as if you put a grenade on an Overload and you can get the Overload pretty low with your machine gun and let your grenade kill him. Then you'll get the Ordnance. Right? You see there how I'm, everything's hitting that. So I'm just, I ju what I've done there is I stopped, had very little health left, I stopped and I put on, uh, I let my Arxel kill him. The cool thing about Again, having the, the Crown of Tempest on is it counts for a, an arc ability kill because I can see the recharge rate of my abilities going up, which is what you get if you kill an enemy with an arc, arc ability. Now, I can't confirm that. I can't confirm that the arc soul counts for that because nothing came up on the left. But I seen my grenade, when, even when I was doing it, I seen my grenade coming back faster. So, the grenade will definitely count for that. So, what we're going to do is just... When you're putting a grenade on an overload, make sure you let the overload uh, teleport first. And then throw it to wherever they teleport. And as you can see here, it's a, it's a combination between the Arc Soul and my Heavy. It's just, even though they've got solar shields and match games on, just melting through the solar shields... Those shanks are the only enemies in here with solar shields, so I don't really see the point when it's arc burn of wasting an arc weapon slot for a solar for three enemies, and we didn't need it. So up to 50%, you'll get two overloads, bunch of adds, uh, and that'll be it. After 50%, you get what maybe another. You get three when you kill your first barrier, and then you maybe get one or two more after that, but you get three solar shanks, and at 100%, you're off. 
And then we're back into this. We're back into uh, getting the the art pulses. Now, what you'll see, and if you look, if you look back, you'll notice, because this is a patrol area, if there are people in the area, uh, maybe a different a different point of the strike, or maybe just in the area. If they collect the arc pulses, it counts for you. Now, I haven't mentioned this so far, so we'll get this out of the way now. The Nightfall weapon for this week is Horror's Least. So, if you fancy getting yourself a Horror's Least, I've been dropping them very consistently, because just to try and get the the ornament for the grenade launcher. I've done quite a few of these. I've done a few last week, but I didn't farm it last week, really. But, uh, so, so I've maybe done, uh, this point, I've done a couple on stream. This run I didn't do on stream. This is an off stream run. So I've maybe done about four or five of these, and I've had three, hor three or four horrors lists, which is really strange, because last week I've done a bunch of nightfalls, and I never got a nightfall weapon for the first four runs. Last week it was the Malicious Birthright, I think. So, when you get to this point with the walker, what I do is I put a grenade on the walker. Obviously that's going to debuff him, but it's arc damage, so it'll do quite a bit. And then I kind of spray between three legs, weaken all three, and what you can do is, you can break a leg, and then once the leg's broke, before the front part opens, you can break another leg. And I think there I put damage on three legs and then put a heap of damage on him on his crit point and then he needed like one or two snipes afterwards and that killed the walker. So you can actually, you know, chain that uh, chain that damage between the legs. So you see there, there's what overload. I'm just going to stop him. I'm just going to use, I'm not going to, I'm not going to use too much of my, I'm not going to use a grenade. Got him finishable. Uh... And I, cr I created uh, an Ionic Trace, which gave me gave me about 10%, maybe just a bit more than that, of my, my melee back. Now we're just going to make it to the boss room. So, I am not going to cheese this. Cheese, I will do another run. When I do my feature, when I do my featured Nightfall, I'll do it using the cheese. It's not a cheese, right? A cheese... I'll be real careful here because I'm not sure if you could class it as a cheese because you can actually still get hit there. But it's 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 a, it's a bit well maybe it's, maybe maybe it is a cheese, all right. But it's probably the best way to solo the GM. So I'm going to I'll do that for the featured to give you guys that strategy as well as just for doing it on master. So when you get in here, you're going to have a bunch of exploding uh, exploding shanks. Now. I haven't mentioned this so far because it wasn't pertinent, I didn't think. These explode, these overcharged shanks, they electrify the floor around you. So these are practically the enemies you've got to take care of really quickly because they will constantly damage you. All right? So if you see them in your area, focus to those guys. So I'm going to be doing it from here. I've done nightfalls from this position before. It's a decent, decent position to do it. So now that he's come around here, I'm going to charge him, and that will make him go. And then I'm going to use my my uh, Trinity Ghoul. You see he's back here. What I'm going to do is throw a grenade. Uh, and then I'm just, I'm throwing the grenade. I've got a rift. I've got my arc buddy up. I'm looking for this guy who keeps mailing me. There he is. Uh, and then if you're in trouble, you, you'll probably have took, took quite a bunch of them off you. As long as there's no exploding, uh, no, no overcharged shanks near you, you can just, like, juke them and, and move from left to right. You've got cover here. He has solar. His attacks are solar. So I, I I went with the whole idea that my job was to get rid of him first. Right? If, another rule of thumb here, you'll see, maybe in a second when we kill this guy, all those shanks that were left in the area just exploded. If the shanks stay up, there are still adds in the area. So that's something to think about. If the shanks don't auto-explode when you feel like you've killed everything, it's because you haven't killed everything. So now we're just going to do the same thing again. And then when we get to... We're going to get to a point with this guy. Adds are going to be about... You see... Uh, my, I see my health going down. I was being pushed from all angles. So now what I'm going to do... 
is just go around the area with my super and just kill as many of these ads for the super just so that you know another good thing about coming out the boss is gone right the boss goes at this point and then you're just left with the ads and the two barriers right the great thing about doing it like this is and we'll just well, we've amplified him the boss is back I didn't think he would I couldn't remember him coming back uh, but I know that I'm I'm uh, I'm just gonna hide back here I know that there's those uh, just take him out so he doesn't come down that was what I was trying to get over there I know that there's an, an uh, overcharged shank just now I wanted to take that the, any overcharged shanks in my area I want to take down so as you can see he will move round to the side you're at and I'd done a run ages ago where I used uh, Whisper here and all I'd done was uh, once I have Whisper because because I was up top with uh, I got on top of this box there's no other ads he'll just keep going from left to right to try and get a hold of you he won't actually like he can't come around the back here but he will come to the side you see and and you can actually keep him at arm's length now you'll see in a minute I'm gonna start taking it seems like quite a bit of damage because of these uh, these uh, ads that are pushing in but also well hopefully we just get you see how I'm, I'm taking damage now if you've got if you have a look at what I put on uh, I've got uh, Arkansas resists makes you pretty tanky here now as long as you take care of those overcharged shanks so they can't amplify the floor below you if if you want if you've got a different role to what i've got i've got a, it's not the best role in that machine gun but uh if you can get one with better reload that was a problem that was taking me too long to reload so if you've got something that reloads when you put it away it'll be brilliant but just take care of the overcharged shanks and it leaves you in a better position to actually do damage to the boss thank you very much for watching the video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did a like will be uh great uh there'll be another run coming up by the end of this week so take care of yourselves guys and i will see you in the next video